Hello chess friends, today I've got a very beautiful endgame study for you. This study was composed by the second chess champion of the world, Emmanuel Lasker. So Lasker won the title in 1894 by defeating Steinitz and uh, he maintained his world champion title for over 27 years. So that's the longest in chess history and he still holds the record of course. So apart from being a great world champion, Lasker was also a, a very famous composer. And here we have one of his famous chess compositions. It's white to move and win the game. So you can pause the video and try to find the solution. Alright, as you can see black is threatening to promote his pawn and you might be, uh, at first sight it seems that white has no possible checkmate here. How is white going to win this position? But there exists something very beautiful. White plays bishop to g8, sacrificing the bishop. Obviously the threat is to play queen h7 checkmate and that's why the bishop has to be taken. So after rook takes uh, g8, now you'll think, okay, where's the checkmate for white? White now plays a splendid move, king to f7. And this is threatening to play queen takes g8 checkmate. So for example, if the rook moves away somewhere like here, white will give queen g7 checkmate. And so black must react here, black must capture the queen. So he takes the queen and after f takes g6, you have c1 promoting it to a queen, but now white wins with g7 check, king h7 and queen to g8 checkmate. What a beautiful endgame uh, chess study by Emmanuel Lasker. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel.